Uh, somebody has a question and I would like you to answer it if you don't mind. So somebody said, how to start getting into Christianity and God after being raised atheist? I needed advice. After being raised atheist. Start over. In your head, start over. I think one of the main things would be get into the Bible. Um, I would I would probably, one of my favorite introduction books to read is Acts. And if you go into the Bible, either the Bible app, if you're looking for a translation, translation, I would say um, New Living Translation for just a, a good fresh NLT. start. NLT. And just start from the very beginning and talk to God and be like, God, I'm open. I'm here. Give me revelation. Show me the truth. And when you start reading, it might be a little monotonous the first few days, but God will start revealing things to you and revealing the truth in so many ways. And it'll start pouring out to where you, where you would have been able to read a couple of books, um, a couple of books without getting anything in the right spot. You will be able to only read a couple of verses before God starts speaking to you through yeah. all of it. And the closer you get and the more knowledge you have, because God, the Bible is God's personality. It, his personality is shown when you get closer to him in a relationship and learn about him by reading the Bible, you start understanding the truth of who he is and he starts speaking to you more and more and he will reveal himself to you. It's the coolest thing so in the true. world. It's so true. Me and Austin right now, we're going through um, Jeremiah and it's so crazy because honestly, like the first chapter, it almost like catfishes you, right? Like we read the first chapter and we're like, dang, this is really juicy. This is some good stuff right here. And then we started continuing on in the story and it felt like it was getting monotonous. And we're like, dang, like it did it again to us, sucker. Like it got us. Because once we say we're going to read a book, we have to finish it, right? And this one's like 50 something chapters. But we read the first chapter and we're like, this is good. Um, it doesn't matter why I'm saying this is because it doesn't matter like to a certain point, like how far you've been in your faith. It happens to us all, right? It's just like figuring out like, okay, God, I'm going to keep reading and you're going to reveal something to me in your time. And just like asking God, like every single time me and Austin read our Bible before we read together or by ourselves, we always pray like, God, reveal to us what you want to reveal. And I mean, that makes a difference. Like when we do that, when we don't do it. But Jeremiah, like, I'm so happy that we continue to read it because like we finally got to another chapter that we're like, this has so much gold in it. And it's so cool because when you do read those stories, like, it's easy for you to be like, dang, God is just harsh. Like, what the heck? But then you continue to read on and you see how gracious he is at the same time. And like how loving and how forgiving. And it's just, it's so cool just to learn God's character. And the only way to do that is just going through the whole books, like one by one, so that you don't have like half of an understanding and just seeing like, what God's character is, even if it's repetitive, even if you feel like you're not getting anything out of it, because you will, even if it's in the very end of the book, you will, you know? So good. I love it. That's 100% true.